Clean Ellum, Washington, undoubtedly one of the easiest and coolest places to vacation to in Washington State. But could you live here full time? Stick with me as I'm going to be brutally honest about the pros and cons of living in Clean Ellum. I'm also going to reveal a couple of neighborhoods to consider if you want to get away from the crowds. Leave me a note in the comments. What's your favorite part of Cleelum, Washington? Let's dive on into this. The first pro in Cleelum is that it's nestled in the heart of the Cascades, making it a perfect playground for hiking, mountain biking, swimming, skiing. Let's also mention wineries. There's endless miles of forest service trails for off-road vehicles, four golf courses within 10 miles of each other. There's something for anyone who wants to be outdoors but you probably already know this. Here's the downside to this. Because it's so close to the Seattle area, popular beaches like Spiele Beach and easy access hiking trails like Lake Ingalls get really overpopulated. I'm telling you, if you wanna park within a mile of a trailhead, you better be there by 5 a.m. Some of these trails in the area, you will feel like ants marching in a line. This brings us to our next pro, Cleelum is very easy access to the Seattle area. Uh, there's a lot of residents in the Cleelum area that commute to Seattle for work. It takes about an hour and 20 minutes to get there. This also makes getting to the International Airport of SeaTac very convenient. But here's the con. Western Washington uses I-90 to get to Eastern Washington's playground. Most weekends in the summer, I-90 is completely gridlocked, especially if there's a large show or festival going on at the Gorge Amphitheater. This happens so often, a clever realtor in the area put a billboard sign up that says, if you lived here, you'd be home by now. I've got to give it up to that guy. The traffic cluster also really affects roads in downtown because everyone now has GPS mapping. They are now taking roads through town and gridlocking it. The local residents absolutely hate this and it really is a concern for emergency vehicles. After some time living in the area, you will know how to plan your weeks around this traffic nightmare. Comment below, what do you think the biggest con of the Cleelum area is? One of my favorite parts of Cleelum is the wildlife. There is a herd of elk that live in town and um, I've been stopped on Bullfrog Road before for like five minutes waiting for them to cross. Roslyn also has a bunch of bunnies hopping around. Um, it's very common to have deer in your yard. There's just an abundance of wildlife. They also have cougars, and I'm not talking about the ones you find at the bars. I'm talking about the dangerous ones that you don't wanna cross trails with. The next pro to the community is the full-time population between Roslyn and Cleel is about 3,000 people. So everyone knows everyone and they really look out for each other for the most part. If you have kids in school or you own a business, chances are you will become a host or you will be throwing events for the community throughout the year. Now, this type of atmosphere is not for everyone because one small mistake or rub the wrong person the wrong way and the entire town will know about it. The next pro on the list is affordable living, kind of. I'm gonna say that you can find homes a little bit more affordable than the Seattle area. Home prices in town start at about $400,000, um, but these homes are like 100 years old and usually need some work. The average home price in Cleelum is around 900,000 and this is increasing faster than the entire Northwest MLS. Large multi-million dollar master plan communities such as Suncadia and Forest Ridge keep popping up in the area and the majority of these builds start well above the $1 million range. I'll tell you where to look for homes if you want to get away from the crowds in just a minute. Another con to the area is the availability to amenities. Things such as restaurants, healthcare, and shopping. For the population, the area really does have a lot of restaurants and this is to serve the tourism. You can also expect to pay tourism prices at a lot of these places. You'll also wanna make sure that before you go out to eat that you check their hours online. A lot of these places are gonna be closed couple days a week to give their staff a break and some of them will close for a couple months at a time in the winter time 
because it's the off season. There is a little bit of healthcare in the area, but not really. There's a clinic. Um, so, you know, if you have a cold or you need something like that, you can go to the clinic, but any sort of like major treatments that you might have, you are going to be traveling to Issaquah or the Seattle area. And this kind of adds more stress to an already stressful health condition. As far as clothes shopping, it's pretty much non-existent with the exception of a couple of boutiques. You're gonna find that most of your shopping is done, well, probably online or in the closest city is Aqua and Bellevue. When I asked a friend what she thought was the biggest con of the area, she said winners are expensive and she had to explain this to me. She said all the gear that you need to be outside, you need ski gear and lift tickets and snowmobiles and that gear and parking passes. I guess I never really thought of that. I should mention that winners in the Clean Elm area can be really gray and they get about 80 inches of snow a year. So you can expect to be shoveling your driveways and decks a good amount of time in the winter. That brings me to my next thing that you should know about winters. You need to have an all wheel drive vehicle and it needs to have clearance. Although the roads are plowed and maintained, you're still gonna be driving over berms of snow to get in and out of parking lots. Our next con of the area is the job market. The industry in Cleelum is mostly tourism, so you can expect boom and bust depending on the time of year. There's a lot of home building in the area, so right now the trades are doing really well. But if you're looking for a high paying job, you'll most likely need to commute to the Seattle area or work remotely. Cleelum is a great place to live, um, to get away from the hustle of the city. My real, like my biggest con of the whole area is just the influx of tourism. So if you want to have it all and be in this beautiful area, but away from the crowds, here's four areas in Cleelum to look for homes. The Tianaway, Hidden Valley, P.O. Point and West Side Road. These areas are all really easy to access. Everything Clean Elm has to offer and a lot of them have beautiful views of the Stewart Range. I'm Amanda Dahlman and if you think the pros outweigh the cons, we'd love to help you find your home in the heart of the Cascades.